Hi there, and welcome to the first in a series of videos about dynamic software development. Software development tooling and techniques are moving at a faster pace than ever. It seems we can't get through the week without a new tool, service or way of building software. The big issue I have with learning about these new technologies is one of context. It's very difficult to learn something unless you have an idea of a problem that the tool, service or methodology addresses. With this in mind, I often find it very useful to have an idea of a product I want to build. So over this series of blog posts, I'm going to start building out this new dynamic platform. And as I go along, I'll be using a variety of tools and technologies. And in fact, I will often refactor, i.e. rebuild, as we go along. This last point is an important one. A common approach in a world that moves so fast is you need to get products to market with the shortest possible time frame. And to do that, we build an MVP. This is not to be confused with Microsoft Value Professional, MVP in this instance refers to minimal viable product. An MVP is the most basic working production version of a product that can be built and deployed as fast as possible. The idea is build fast, fail fast. If a product looks like it's going to be picked up, you can spend time and money on building it out with new features or even rebuilding as required to create a newer or better service. On the flip side, if the product bombs, you've not wasted too much time on it. Generally, this is done over a series of, of, of iterations. You build the most common com important bits first and release them. And over time, we add to them with further iterations as requirements demand. And so that's how I'm going to build my app. I want to build a number of services using common technologies for speed of development and then rebuilding them using more up to date technologies. We'll also build out as well as refactoring by adding new functionality and services as we go. The app itself will essentially be a development platform. So think something like Salesforce.com, Microsoft Dynamics or ServiceNow. I want to be able to create a platform that in itself will allow me to build apps while minimizing the amount of code I have to do to build those applications. We'll be building it as a set of services, and then we'll plug new services in as we go along, thus creating additional functionality. We'll start simple and small, and slowly get more complex as we go, but more importantly, we're going to get to use lots of different types of technologies. The first set of components we're going to have is we're going to have some forms, and with that we'll need a form designer. We're going to have some data models, and for that we'll also need a data modeler to be able to define objects that will be used within the system itself, rather than having to code them out or build it within SQL Server itself. Then we'll have workflows. Again, we'll need a GUI to be able to build those workflows and a backend system that will manage them. S workflows might be something simple, such as send an email, but as we go along, they may gradually build up to become more complex. And at some point, we'll maybe even start plugging workflows together. And then across it all, we're going to need a secure platform. And we're going to use OAuth to ensure that any security we use can flow through the system. So once we've got all these, we, we need to start look at what other options we can have. And I won't go into this too much now because, well, I've not decided just yet. And secondly, I'd like to give you guys the chance to make some suggestions as to what we might add to it. As I say, we're going to be building it up in layers, and those layers in a bit more detail may look like something like this. So as I said, we're going to have the main UI, which will be some sort of end user portal, but then we'll have separate UIs for each individual service. What I'm thinking here is that each service should be able to run independently. However, the main platform UI would seamlessly bring them together into a single view. At the very bottom, we have the data layer and we're going to have a series of databases. Each of these databases will be individual services and over the top of them we're going to have this service layer. So these service layer or, or data APIs or engines will wrap the underlying databases underneath. The, the, the point with this is that the, the UI should be completely agnostic of the underlying databases. So if we want to change the technology, which we will be doing, so for example move from SQL Server to NoSQL, then we should just need to change that data services layer and not have to worry about the UI. Okay, so that's the overview. Let's look at, into a bit more detail as to what the data model is going to look like. In the next video, we're going to actually start building the data API itself. So head on over to that, we'll have a brief interview as to what we're going to build, and then we'll start building it out.